30.4 will be finding the domains of these square root functions. Square root functions can only take zero or positive numbers. So you take the expression from, from out of the um, square root function and you set that expression greater than or equal to zero. And being greater than zero, equal to zero means that those numbers actually belong in the domain. Now, we're going to break this into two binomials. And so x squared breaks into x times x. And I'm going to break 20 into a, let's see, let's make that a um, 4 times 5. All right, so this will give me 4x in the inside and outside will give me 5x. Now, I have to use opposite numbers or different numbers, and I have to get a negative 1 for x. So I'm going to use a um, negative 5x and a positive 4x, and that will make negative 1x, and that matches. So opposite signs. So first positive, and then a negative. So I'll write the x plus 4, and I'll set that equal to 0. I'll have x minus 5, and I'll set that equal to 0. And I'll solve for both of these. Solving for the um, x here, I'll get x equals negative 4. And solve for x here, I'll get x equals 5. Okay, so I'm going to put these both on the number line. The negative 4 and the 5. And I'm going to make them solid because equal to 0, because these are equal to 0 here. These are made equal to 0. Um, is usable for the domain. You can have answers that are equal to 0 or x's that can make things equal to zero. Now, I need to check out these three sides. And what I tend to do, I like to use 10 a lot, but I like, but zero is also a good number to use. So I'm gonna use zero, because zero is right here in the middle. So let's use zero for x. So if I, zero squared is zero, take away zero, then minus two. Well, zero take away two minus, sorry, zero take away zero, then minus two is gonna be negative two. That means that this is negative. Well, if this is negative, then these two other pieces are going to be positive. And so our domain will be the positive parts, including the zeros. And you will write them this way. The positive parts go from negative infinity till you get to negative 4, and then it includes negative 4. Also, the positive parts are from 5 to positive infinity, and it includes 5 and we'll union those. And this is our domain. Now let's find the domain of number nine. Number nine, we take the um, inner part here, the expression x squared minus five x plus six, and we set it greater than or equal to zero. Then we're going to factor this into two binomials of x times x for x squared and for 6, I have several choices. I have 1 times 6, and I have 2 times 3. I'm going to choose 2 times 3. This will give me 2x here, and it will give me 3x on the outside. This says that my signs have to be the same, and then I must get a 5x, negative 5x. So I'm going to use negative and negative, and this will give me a negative 5x. Um, so a negative here, a negative here. And then I take my x minus 2, I set that equal to 0. My x minus 3, I set that equal to 0, and I solve for x. So I add 2 to both sides, and I end up with x equals 2. I add 3 to both sides, I end up with x equals 3. Put those on the normal line, 2 and 3. And because we have equals here, this can be equal to 0, we're going to fill in two and three with solid um, circles, solid circles. And then I love to use zero if, I, if I'm able to. If not zero, then I'll use 10. But um, zero would appear on this side here, on the left side. So I'm going to use zero, x squared, zero times zero is zero, five times zero is zero, and then plus six. Well, zero take away zero plus six is six. That's positive. 6 is positive. So positive 
and this part next part is gonna be negative and this next part is gonna be positive so what I'm gonna have is a domain that's gonna use this positive part here from negative infinity to 2 and because it's closed it's gonna be a bracket and then everything from 3 to positive infinity closed on 3 and then parentheses here and then we'll union that and this right here is my domain.